from my perspective, that's uh, a matter for the council, and I'll support the council's decision on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, next. The Liberal council. The council. I totally concur with you. It is our land. It does not belong to whoever the councillors happen to be, whichever elected councillors <coughs> we have to make a decision as to whether or not it can be sold or not. It is the people's land, and the people have to keep it. Uh, my record on this is pretty clear. Um, I was part of the council that was elected to stop um, the Civic Centre proposal that was put before council. Um, and look, you know, Mr Dominello hides behind the fact that he says it's a council matter. The fact of the matter is it was with the state government for 10 months. And surprise, surprise, on the very day it became clear that Liberals gained majority, we get sent a letter asking us to reconsider the decision. Um, now, I propose to be a different type of MP to Mr Dominello. Um, he often says, oh, that's not my responsibility or um, that's a council matter. That's not the type of person I am. Um, if the community are up in arms about something and we had the overwhelming majority of our community against that proposal, it elected an anti-Civic uh, Centre Council um, and, and now uh, times have changed. But the, the, the um, opposition to it remains. I'd be an MP that advocates on behalf of the community and doesn't hide behind um, uh, one line. Victor, do you want to quickly respond to that? Well, there's a whole lot of things I'd like to respond to. <laughs> uh, first is in relation to the electricity. Let's be honest, Jerome said uh, you know, it's 1.7 billion. Well, that's a lie. Uh, you know, it's 49%. Uh, so half of that uh, is uh, the money that we're talking about. And it is a decreasing amount, and he knows that. And it's a shame he didn't point that out. The second thing is, you know, when it comes to making council responsible, I believe in that. It is something that I've always believed in. And I will allow it for the councillors to make a decision. Uh, they're democratically elected and I will abide their outcome on that. Okay. Justin, do you want to make a quick comment? Very, very briefly, because we are running out of time now. Sure, just quickly. I mean, I, I don't buy into the it's a council issue thing. If we're living in a um, in an environment where the state government is able to come in and dissolve a council entirely, uh, where the state government is able to declare an area, an urban activation precinct in which none of the currently existing um, environmental plans, traffic plans, they all get you know torn up and thrown out the window to meet state government priorities. There are no council issues. This is an agenda that you're talking about here and the clear agenda from the Liberal Party has been privatisation for the sake of privatisation. Um, and this uh, civic centre proposal uh, or you know shadow proposal we don't no one's really saying if they're for the privatization but it's very clear uh, about which side is not fighting against it um, yeah Julie so but but the greens are against it absolutely and we think there's been way too much uh, selling off of land uh, okay um, okay we got another